Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of this tutorial for writing music to PMD for PC98. Um, this time we are going to write the, um, the, the file in itself and uh, see how it sounds. So, before we start, I'd like to explain something I couldn't in the last video. This slash V option, what does it mean? Uh, it simply means that the, the FM instruments are defined in the same file as the song. So, if you work like me and have the, the instrument in the same file, uh, you will want to, to use this option. So, um, we'll now begin to work on the song itself. Uh, let me just erase this because that's spoiler. Um, the first thing you'll do is create a new file on your uh, notepad application. You will uh, write something just to be able to save it and you'll name it after the song you want to make. So, remember you can use space and um, I'll name it uh, after a toast song I like a lot because uh, yes, uh, not MML the MML is not uh, necessary uh, but uh, just put it to be ordered so you have noticed the name and you probably know this song we'll cover the extra stage from uh, to 8 uh, to make this tutorial well the beginning because uh, doing a wall cover is uh, very long so uh, a little bit um, something I forgot to to explain in the last video something you need also except if you are a genius and you can compose uh, just by thinking of the knot in your head you will probably need, need to have some uh, reference uh, next to you and um, for example if you do a cover if you have the MIDI loaded in a, a music software to be able to see the notes would be a nice solution well, okay and um, also, uh, maybe you prefer to work with a paper with the notes notes written on, on it and uh, that can also be a solution. So pick your favorite uh, method. So let's begin to write the MML file. The first thing you may want to put is the header. So I'll just um, copy it from test and explain it a little bit. So here you um, each line of the header begin with this um, sign. I forgot the name in English, sorry, but this sign you re recognize it. And uh, here you have the title. Title. Um, so that's how it will appear in the um, FMPMD 2000. So I'll re rename it, which for, for the moon. Little tilde, immortal smoke. Okay, composer, the name, uh, uh, it's not me, it's Zun who composed it. I'm the arranger. Uh, so these are tags with which will be displayed in the FMPMD 2000. Uh, the tempo, you are not. Um, it's not necessary to define it. You can, but it's not. I'll not because uh, it will be better for the tutorial. Uh, the option, uh, I'll just see them. Uh, this will allow me also to show you some nice links I have. There, you see uh, th this link there. I, I put the link in the last video. I will put it there too. Uh, this little page uh, is also a um, uh, tutorial, uh, you can check it too, it's, uh, it's nice. Um, here is the manual, translated from Japanese to English. 
and here we are this website which has a lot of useful information like the command to, to compile here you can see it and uh, what I wanted to see wa was the um, uh, driver effect commands and here they're the header and uh, what I wanted to see was the option ok option there let's search for option for the description option um, okay just keep this thing here but I'm not sure it's really ne necessary I, I again I don't know any everything about PMD so there will be something uh, sometimes where I'll just say to you uh, just do it because I don't know uh, if <laughs> if uh, it will work without it. Um, one tag which is essential too is file name um, because that's the extension uh, it will generate and. Um, you can use M or M2, uh, it makes not really a difference. Um, if you look at how Zoom did it uh, at the time, um, he used the dot .m, the dot .m2, M2 for the, um, the full uh, sound chip and the uh, M only uh, for um, the other sound chip, uh, the, um, the PC-98 also has in its um, less good version uh, which only had 3 FM channel and 3 SSG channel and no rhythm, no ID, PCM so the, the M only was for this version of the song but you can also uh, compile a full uh, 6 FM channel uh, channel song for uh, with uh, a single M. So the next part we will uh, do is the instrument. But before this, let me just explain you something. Um, you'll have to your file will get messy. I can assure you. So to keep it as um, tidy as possible you'll have to write comments to find where you are in the in the file in the music uh, in which part of the file etc so uh, to write uh, comments it's the um, uh, semicolon character and then you can write something which will not be taken in account by the the compiler so here I, I will write uh, instrument because that will be this part and that's where my test file will come handy because except again if you are very very talented or have a lot of experience you will not know uh, how to make uh, FM instruments alone it has uh, a lot of parameters and uh, believe me you will prefer to uh, just copy paste it so here is uh, why my I made this test um, test instrument test uh, file that's because we will want to hear how this uh, this uh, instrument sound so Let's hear the MIDI. Uh, I have a not very good sound font, but that's not uh, that doesn't matter. We just want the notes there. So here we have a piano. So let's load the test file and file find an instrument which w in FM which would um, sound like a piano. Um, so we look.
for example this one so we are the ninth second I made this file so that um, the notes will play uh, one each second so at the there's this um, this thing here so we'll maybe make this like this hey uh, you'll understand later but oh oops I don't want this I wanted this oh five yes oh five there so at the ninth second we have the Oh. Let me just do something, but maybe not O5, but let let it just be like this, and um, let's use the the note, the standard. Um, standard uh, uh, no shit okay it's okay um I'll replace it sorry for the it's very experimental uh, this kind of video it's the first time I do it so yeah we're pleased and um let's compile it again test okay uh, let's play it again there let's find a piano oh that's not the right one because that's not the one in songs yeah I'm looking for a very yes, this one, this song you heard uh, at 18, I think. Yes, at 17. Okay. Eighteen. So we look at our instrument. Eighteen. It's the twelve. Yeah. The twelve works, but uh, actually I know the one the one the one under one is the one I look sorry. So uh, let me let me just check this chord. Sorry. Okay. Um. So what you do after this is you go down where I define the instruments, the one under under one and uh, here we have it so you can take the second because uh, where I took them there were many versions but uh, I don't really know what are the difference uh, I just use them like this so go back to your file paste it like this and we have our first instrument so now we can already write some write something some notes so we'll write a comment to tell uh, ourselves we are in the um, part one you can write it wh wh as you wish but maybe I will tell it's the intro there and then it begins so we'll write the that piano part So, um, one last thing before we, we begin. Let me show the MIDI editor again. There's a lot of notes in this song, for example, that can play simultaneously. And um, the problem is that uh, all the um, sound chip can only play one um, sound per channel. So, if you take into account we have uh, 6 FM 3 PSG plus the plus the rhythm channel you may think we could play 10 songs 10 uh, sounds together 
but actually it's less than this. Why? Because you'll see when we we'll, uh, do the drums, uh, we have to use one of the SSD channels, so it's make eight voice. And um, also, if you want to put your song in a game, you'll see that the Toe game, for example, use the sixth FM channels, uh, f a sixth FM channel for the sound effects. It will always be busy. So if you put music there, it will always be erased. Uh, Zoom never used it for the music. It was always a uh, result for the the sound. So in the end, you have seven sounds plus uh, the drums. So you have many notes and you have to you, you will f um, you'll have to sacrifice some sound. For example here the piano I'm not sure I'll take uh, both notes of the, the chord because maybe I'll have to use uh, the channel for the thing. Same here um, Yeah, here maybe we can make it so uh, the same channel play all the uh, all these notes and not sustain it and uh, use uh, other channel. Uh, that can be some tricks. But here, for example, we will have uh, um, yeah, that makes two channels there, two channels there, and one here. We have five channels. Here we we have uh, we have enough um, enough room to for all the song in of the beginning of of the intro. So let's write something. Um, the first note uh, I'll put on the second screen. You will not see it again, but uh, you will hear. So the first note is the C C. Um, what is this um, this character? I don't remember, but it's the C. Uh, well, let's put the letter. Yeah, the first FM channel is named A. So, if you want to write something on A channel, just put A. Uh, put it in uppercase because there will be an error else. Because um, when you write the notes, you may have uh, A. Um, not per case, sorry, I don't, uh, sorry, my English. Um, so we'll write on the channel A, uh, the C, C, C sharp, yeah, it's sharp. But that's not how you write it because um, in reality, uh, C sharp is C plus in uh, MML. So it's a C plus. The second note is sorry, is an E. You can write it like this; it will sound the same. But again, in order to tidy your your code, your song, put space. It can help you, or whatever method you you prefer to to uh, retrieve yourself in your file. Um, Let's put then the, um, the e f, f plus g plus um, a and then uh, it goes an octave higher. So what when it goes higher, you have to put this uh, this character. And it's C plus. Let's listen how this sounds. Spoiler: it was it will not sound very good. Uh, rich for the moon. .mml. It compiles. That's good. Let's go into the uh, not, not this one. Songs. Why do I have this? garbage there. Yeah. Um, so let's test it. Open file. Songs. Read from them. 
yeah you know this there are a lot of timing error uh, it's too high etc so that's why we have some things to do before playing the notes so first we'll find a good uh, the, the octave I want so to change octave to decide which octave do you want to begin with uh, it's the O command followed by the the number of the octave so let's test for example three oh, but 101 is not the one I want. Why? I may be wrong. Maybe the fourth was... Um, it was 18. Let's take 18. It's 12. 12. 12, it's there. Let's take the 12. Let's replace... Oh, but I know why. <laughs> One hundred one is enough, but yeah, we have to actually tell the channel A to use the, that instrument we we chose. So already this, yeah, that's better. But now we have timing errors. So look at this. Uh, that white uh, line means uh, a, a vertical white line uh, means uh, it's um, how do you say it in English um, it's uh, maybe there it says no ah shit the it's um, it's uh, a measure I think maybe it's not how you say it in English but that's basically um, four time, uh, according to, to my time sin signature, it's four time uh, a quarter of a full note. So that means that, for example, this would be a full note, but this, it is, um, it is a. Uh, uh, eighth of a full note because you can have eight of these little notes in a full note so that means in our MML we have to define that the main notes which will be played in this channel will be uh, this eight so for this use the L command and you will tell we want an height of a note so now let's test it w okay there are still problems because some notes are longer for example this one it's um, a half uh, a half of a full note so uh, maybe you could do this um, by just putting um, L2 because it's a half half it will work it works but it would change the whole thing so just on another way you can specify the length of the note next to it like this and it resembles a lot more okay let's now use the second channel no no let's finish the A so um, the last note is a fourth so like this then we are going uh, an octave lower and then we have this note so it's um, F plus but the length is not something you could express with um, one two four etc so 
what we have to do here is use what is the closest uh, it's a half so it's f plus 2 but then you'll see that this note has two more um, let's say square and to express this um, we'll, we'll tell PMD to play it longer so to do this you can put L plus 8 so plus an 8 of a, of a length and so it will be the, the right length then it's 8th again but it rises so it's C plus C plus F plus G plus then it's 4th so um, A A4 uh, no. F plus 4 G plus 4 and E4 e and finally it's C plus 1 we may, may have the first melody That sounds right. So what we'll do now is writing the 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 B part to make uh, the the same chord. And actually, it's not a chord. It's just the same thing, but an octave lower. So we can do this. Uh, remove that S. He does uh, some nasty things. Uh, why does uh, it's B? Sounds nice. Yeah. So let's try the next part. So how does it sound on the MIDI? So it's like a, a guitar something. So let's find in our test file um, something like a guitar. Maybe this. Maybe this. But maybe it's a little bit thing to uh, down. So ah, maybe this one. Let's try this one. We we can uh, always change it later. So uh, it's at six seconds. So at six seconds, we have the three. Yeah, it's two time again. Let's take the last one. Paste it there. And you see, uh, C is uh, eighth of notes also, so it's the. Uh, you can, I think, uh, if it's defined like uh, zero zero three, you can also uh, use it like this uh, with three. But to be sure, let's put it like this. Um, so it's. Uh, Let's say whole three L eight and let's begin to write on the C channel. Um something I want to say also is that you can uh actually put it like this this on the same line. But maybe don't do this because or the less possible uh because uh it will get messy. And uh, as I said, uh, it can get a lot messy. Um, the next thing you may want to do... Yeah, let's begin to write on the C channel. So, it's a D. 
it's an A D uh, it's Ryzen at tail so D and there it's A so let's test it already like this um, when your song is paused, if you want the modification from the compiled file to take effect, you just have to press the stop and it will reload the file. Oh, that's not the test and which Okay, let's um, make it play alone. Okay, we will have to make it play lower. No. Okay, that that's a good uh, thing for a tutorial because we can see that's not the a good song for a guitar in the end. So, uh yeah, it's play nothing because the A is muted. So Maybe this, maybe this, the twentieth one. Um, twenty, it's there. Yeah, sixteen. Let's try sixteen, but higher. Sixteen. Sixteen, yes. They were sixteen. Okay. No. This one. This one. Okay, it's very um let's put a big octave. It's use usually for the bass, but maybe higher it can sound good. Okay, it's too high. Five. Maybe four even. Well, it's not perfect. It sounds a little bit strange. Maybe f five. Let's try it. Yeah, it's not the perfect instrument, but but let's let's begin like this, just to. That's just for the tutorial. I'll probably continue this cover, but uh, I'll try to find a better instrument for this. So, um, let's just hear it alone. Okay, so let's continue. Next, um, we're going down an octave again and it's E where is uh, what is it there it's uh, B then it rises then it's E again then it's B Okay, we're going down again. It's F plus. F plus, we rise. C plus. F plus. We rise again. C plus. What we can do here is uh, make the last note um, last longer and it would typically be 2 L plus 8 like before let's test it okay so let's test it with the whole instrument oh 
yeah I forgot something just look at this here um, the um, piano don't begin immediately and yeah the piano begin first but the um, the guitar don't begin immediately so what we want to do is add a rest maybe you know what a rest is uh, if you don't that's um, part in a song where the where we stop playing so for this uh, this channel we will cut this part so it's a quarter of a note so like the notes uh, the rests um, where is my uh, oh shit no not this one yeah like the notes the rest can have the same length so what we will do is for C we'll add a little rest of a quarter of a note uh, let's continue we will stop there we'll have to rise down two octaves and uh, we're again at F plus we rise D F plus and we rise again it's D again uh, two time uh, we lower G plus we rise E G plus and we rise to E let's try this Oh, th there's this part too. Um, so we lower two times again. C plus. G plus. Um, yeah, the same octave. We rise. C plus. G plus. How long have, have I been recording? 38 minutes. It's uh, still okay. Uh, what the? F yeah, I. W oh, I closed it. Okay. I'm damn sorry. But it's okay. It's saved. We'll test this. Oh. Oh, then there is this note, so C plus. G plus. C plus. G plus. Let's test it. Oh, I made something wrong. Yeah, that's because I forgot to go down on the table. So But 
but there's still something wrong. What is it? Um, um, C plus and G plus is right. G plus. Oh, what is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just... You you see the kind of um, of challenge uh, composing on the notepad is uh, seeing me. Oh, I think I know. It's G plus there. Forgot this, and now mm, it goes too low, in my opinion. Le let's just try like this. like this perfect um so now let's try another part this part this other what is the instrument used there it's a string okay it's some strings so for strings i have um, an instrument i like to use a lot it's the 23rd it's uh, used a lot in the two songs, so it may fit really well. Um, so we'll use D and E for this. It will use the 23rd. Um, what are the length of the note? Oh, but... Yeah, well, it will uh, make a little bit longer, but uh, that's not a problem. We'll uh, stop after this and... Uh, yeah, let's make this. So the length of the strings is um, half of a note so mm, I'm um, I just um, realized I forgot something very important at the beginning uh, uh, there it worked but it was uh, pure hazard pure uh, random um, you have to define uh, a tempo and it's not I don't very really like it because you have to do it in a channel but it's for the whole, whole thing but yeah let's define it in the channel so in the beginning it's 158 so to define the tempo it's simply T 158 but you'll see immediately that something is wrong too fast yeah and I can't really explain why you have to do this but if you want to um, match a BPM you have in a, in a song it's always half what you see so 100 58 uh, the half of it is one uh, is a 79 I think let's just check it uh, 
yeah, 79. So, 79. Let's try it. Yeah, so let's return to the D channel and make the strings. So the length is 2. We'll uh, test with the default octave. And so it will be. We'll have to make some rest for the beginning. So there, there are 4, then there is um one are four one two three four I think yeah four so it would be the occasion to show you something we'll put uh, the the first R for the uh, the quarter of a uh, full rest for the mm, the two first notes of the piano and then we have all these um, this full rest we have to put one two three four yeah the four so you could write it like this um, r1 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 but there's a better way to do this if you have a lot of rest to put you put it into brackets and you put there next to it the number of time you want it repeats so here we have our rests and then we put the notes so it's an A A G plus a G plus oh it's a repetition you can also this with the notes so let's do this A G plus so one two three three times then we have A B oh and the, these are smaller notes it's quarter so A4 before and then we rise an octave and it's C plus and it's half so we have nothing to change let's try it It seems okay. Maybe it's uh, no. I like it. Li it may sound weird for an instrument like this now, but you'll see when a cover of a PC98 sound is finished, uh, this kind of high octave uh, instrument sound really nice in in its own style. So I'll keep it like this. Uh, here is the same for the parameters, but the not notes will be different, obviously. So it's the same rest. R4, R1, four times. Then it's um, F plus. So again, three times. So let's prepare it. F plus F Oh, but this time one, two, three. No, it's two time actually. Then it's F plus then it's E then it's F plus four. G plus 4 and lastly it's um, 
A plus. Let's try. Sound nice. So now we'll just complete uh, the the guitar and the piano. Um, so it's I think it's there. Yeah, it's big in there. So uh, what was the so you can split the file as you wish so for example here here uh, I'll split uh, into two lines because at one moment it would be too long and I can clearly see there that it's the next part of the intro the second part so um, where were we Okay, it begins by lowering the octave, then it's F plus, it was L8, so it's F plus 2, then it's G plus, A, you rise again, C plus 4, Lower again, F plus 2, F2, no, not here, F2, uh, then it's a long string of small notes, so it's F plus, G plus, um a we rise c plus a, getting lower a g plus um what was it f plus g plus then it's a B we rise an octave C plus E and finally we have what is it? It's uh, F plus two. Okay now let's do the the other part of the chord, so... Oh, I forgot it was so easy either. Um, do we need to lower? Yes! So it's exactly the same. Let's test this. Oh, I know, it's a beginning uh, three, three note at the end, before the end, it's raising. Okay, it works. Uh, we just have now to make the guitar work. So it's
Okay, it's... Um, where did we end it? There. So it's two octaves lower. So... Uh, it was the... ABC. Begin lower. Two times. Shit. Sorry. B. We rise. F plus. B. We rise. F plus. We lower C plus G plus we rise C plus G plus well you get the idea I hope D Um, A we rise C plus A We're going down um Yeah, the last one I put was the A, so we're going down, it's again the C plus, G plus, C plus, G plus, so we can... Uh, yeah, we can take that again. Then it's the last one again. Yeah, it's the same, so... Okay, and then it's a new one, so... It's... Uh, are we, are we going down? It's E. E B rise E B then it's C plus Oh, it's a chord, so we'll just use... Okay, we'll take the higher note, because we... We can't be too greedy... Uh, no, not greedy, too... Um, too expensive with the channel usage, so we'll... Cut uh, the, the chord part of this instrument for the end and so it's what is it it's a we rise it's a again yeah then it's Lower B, it's upper B, then we go down, it's F plus, A plus, we rise, C plus, 
and finally it's F plus. Let's try this. So here we say the length is 792 everywhere. So that's a good in indicator. We are we have uh, the right timing. There's something I don't like. I heard something I don't like. We'll cut these two. Mm. Um, the guitar part. over there so it's the A it's somewhere around, around there so C plus G plus It's the third time, so there, there, there. C plus G plus D. It's A. <sighs> you see the trouble of composing. Not C plus maybe. Oh, it's D. It's D. <sighs> okay. No, you, there's still a mistake there. Count again. Okay, it's the last copy paste, so it's this one, I think. D A. D A D A uh, again this C plus I I don't know why okay mm, is it really the right thing and there. Well, I think it's mostly correct. Let's just take in uh, test it as a whole. Okay, it sounds right. So we'll probably end there. 
but uh, it's not the end of the tutorial because uh, we still have to cover the drums maybe I can still show you the drums how much time is there now one hour four minutes ah. Let's quickly cover the drums. That's not that long to explain, actually. Um, since there is no drums at the beginning of this song, we'll make something which has nothing to do. But you'll understand the, the concept like this. So, let's, ta let's take the drum for this song. Let me show you them. So, here again it's important to have some um, something to look uh, what the notes are and obviously uh, the notes for the drums are not really notes they're more instruments parts of the drums so when you write for the drums the first thing you may do that is clever going um, right there in the manual there is a list of the drum presets you can use so just copy it uh, write a comment like uh, drum part and paste it don't forget to put some comments next to them like this ah ah stop it yeah uh, just put them like this it's more pretty and then uh, let me explain how the drum works so to use the drums you use the K channel but you can just write notes there actually you have to write some rhythm channels so for example here I'll declare uh, an R0 R channel R0, excuse me. And um, <coughs> here I'll put the, the drums how I want them. So let's make something simple. Like, um, let's look at the song. It's complex. Yeah, let's have a kick and a snare. So it's each quarter, so let's make it last um, a quarter of a knot. L4. Now, you don't have to write instrument for the drums, you just, um, you just uh, use what uh, you copied there. So we want we said we wanted one bass one snare so you put one you want a, a bass drum so you put one and then something stupid but you have to do it you have to put one note so usually it's the C but it doesn't matter which one you use because it will be uh, just to say play the play the this instrument so you see then we want the snare so snare drum one for example it's the two so C again and let m let's make it repeat um, for the whole uh, part we have already written so it's uh, 
One, two, three, uh, yes, there are four. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight time. I repeat this pattern eight time. And then when your pattern is done, you put it in K. And the K appeared on the here. And why is it not? Oh, I know, I know. That's because, yeah, it's twice the amount. Yeah, we're right. So obviously there's no parts for drumming this song, but uh, I just wrote it there for to, to explain you. Now, we, w we can make some things more complicated. So for example, you may have uh, some, um, some uh, hi-hat between the two. So, let's choose the hi-hat close, so it's 128 C compile okay now what we can do more interesting is play two rhythm sample at the same time because remember physically it's uh, one channel per uh, rhythm uh, sample so for example, there I want to have the the uh, kick, which is the bass drum there, plus the hi hat. So it's pretty straightforward. You just have to um, how do you say it? Uh, add them together. So <coughs> it's one one hundred and t a one hundred. 28, sorry, plus 1, 189. And now listen how it is sound. It has the two, two sample playing in combination. And you can go very far with this. So, um, I think I don't need to explain more for the drums because the parameters are the same. There, there's obviously no octave there, but you can, uh, but you can set the, the like on the other channel the length of the notes, and you can also put rest. Um, I think that's all you can uh, yeah there's one more thing I told you I, I have to explain the SSGs too but concerning the drums you can hear if I cut this there's still something playing that's because uh, PMD is clever and um, for the drum uh, combine always the third SSG channel with the, um, the drum, the, the sample drum from the rhythm channel to make something mo more complex. But this means the third SSG channel is busy with this and you can put melody in this. But now we, we are gonna put some music in the SSGs. It's simpler than FM because you can put a lot of parameters in it. So, the SSG channel are G and H, also Y, but it's used for the, the drums, so just use G and H. And um, what we could do, for example, would be... Um, what could we do? 
I'll use this to I'll already put this there um, yeah there there's also some presets for um, for the SSG so as the manual says um, please do not specify beyond nine um, presets because they're already precise but you can if you want override them so like the drums just put them there and command them and now we'll use for example piano type because you'll see we'll make the SSG play with the piano and adding a nice echo effect so it's the fourth preset for H2 uh, fourth port like this and we're going to uh, we'll see what I'll do so these two things there to initialize them and then A and B are the piano parts so what we'll do is make um, A and G play together and B and H so if you do this the compiler will automatically make the second channel you put on the same uh, same line play a little bit after the first so it will create some echo effect um, maybe uh, le let's test it like this it may sound uh, bad but let's, let's test it okay we don't even listen uh, hear them so let's cut the FM okay obviously I haven't set this kind of thing so L8 um, U2 and we are also going to increase the volume to so the volume command allows you to specify the volume of each channel uh, but uh, you only have 15 um, choice so let's choose for example V10 V10 let's compile little bit quiet still let's no it's too too much Okay, now with the FM. Okay, we can hear them, so we'll have to blow M fully. Too strong. 13. We could also try to make them some sound higher. I think the default one is 04, that's why I put 05. Mm. 
that's not what I necessarily want, but you you noticed that uh, adding the, the SSG to the FM can uh, enhance the instrument give or giving another sound. Um, there's one last thing I want to show you. Maybe I forget some other thing, but I think the rest you can see on the website. So, uh, but one last thing important is the L uppercase function. So, um, how to explain this? The the L uppercase allows you to set a loop point in your song so that so that it can loop indefinitely. So you have to do it for each channel that can be just for once. Uh, that's for each channel. So for example, the A channel begins there, so the L will be there for the G two. For the B and the H, it will be there. For the C, it will be there. For the D, there. And E, there. You can't begin a new loop with some um, channel settings um, functions. It has to be notes. So, if you have to set something back, you have to do it before the loop. So in the ne uh, last instruction for the channels. So what I will do there is take the A1, params for the A, put them there, and uh, GH it's OK, B, B, C D and E Now let's compile compile So one thing good is that the loop is the same for each channel If you add something different uh, the channel will begin to offset itself from the rest uh, at each loop it's here it's going to be okay and it's come back and you can see there there's a loop indicator which means uh, each time you loop, uh, it says how many times it has looped. Well, I think I explained pretty much everything I know. Um, there's things like pitch bend, so uh, having a note, a note uh, being detuned uh, progressively, uh, which is possible, but I uh, haven't achieved it, so I don't know how to do it. Um, there's also some way to to have some other rhythm sound on the furthest SSG channel alone. But uh, I don't know how to do it. I think it's written in the manual, but uh, I haven't really tested because I don't really care. And uh, I think that's all I can tell you. Um, yeah, I think I told you what everything I know about PMD. It's really time consuming, it's long to make a song. So uh, if you try to make something, uh, be prepared to work for for long hours 
and uh, not be done immediately even if it's just a cover well that's all thanks for uh, having watched and I hope uh, this tutorial was um, useful to you bye